What's up, Pan Dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, if you like diving, 47 meters. This is a professional flashlight for diving. Really not sure what makes it a diving flashlight other than I'm assuming it's waterproof, but I saw it on Amazon and picked it up. So I thought we'd take a look at it together here. Look at that. Front cover, LED seat, batteries, and cylinder body. Oh, look at that. Uh, kind of a big flappy switch, which is maybe good for diving. 180 lumens. F takes four AA batteries. All right. And so, here we have it. Man, this thing is bright. Woo! Okay, cool. It's kind of funky shaped, man. I kind of dig it. And if you want this flashlight, stay tuned. I think uh, we might do a little giveaway on this bad boy. So just pick this up to see what it's all about. Uh, first of all, as you can see from this side, it kind of looks like a regular flashlight. Uh, bright neon yellow case and a scuba diver there advertising its intentions. And so that's probably going to help you on low visibility light. Uh, kind of a paracord like lanyard with uh, an adjustability, adjustable kind of uh, stopper right there. Fastened on the end here with a plastic uh, butt. But then what kind of makes it cool is that the handle is really thin, really narrow, tall, and thin. And then you have the power switch, it looks like, uh, which looks like it's kind of fixed with a pretty substantial little screw there. I'm assuming it looked like it went back and forth. So this way, looks like there's a little hole right here. And I'm assuming a little detent right there to kind of hold it in place in the middle. And then I think you can even kind of go this way. So, so big diving gloves on. You can do this to get it on and off. You know, if you work outside with kind of big work gloves, that could be useful too. This up here looks like some sort of alloy. This all is plastic, but this is like some sort of metal alloy it appears to me. Uh, the plastic here certainly seems like it's plastic, but as you can see, it looks like it's kind of thick. A little dimpling there. I don't see if you can unscrew it. It's pretty tight, so I'm assuming that there's a pretty generous o ring. Oh, look at that big white silicone o ring right there. And then you can see the, the lens here plastic lens. It kind of it's like a funnel. And then you have looks like a Cree bulb right there. And thing falls out and again it's kind of mounted in this aluminum alloy like housing and it looks like you put the batteries right in here which would make sense because you don't want this back end opening and um, water getting into it so let's get some double-a batteries and get this thing running looks like the positive end faces up on this side there's a little bit of a channel inside so that they don't fall into the wrong channel. Boom. There's your four batteries. I'm going to throw this thing back in, bulb up, and it looks like the cutouts here, the little grooves, fit with these grooves there. So, looks like it's going to go back in just like that. I think it tries to be dummy proof. So, I'm pretty sure I can screw it up. I'm going to screw back on the top here. All right, that's on pretty tight. And if we flip the switch, boom, it's on. Frick, that thing is bright. Dude, I mean, it's a pretty focused beam, but it's pretty bright. And then, let's see, back to the center is off. And then on this side, it's on. Can't tell that there's any difference between the two sides. So I think it's just a matter of if you need it, and you hit the switch to go either way, it'll turn on. Uh, definitely pretty bright. I'm pretty impressed with it. I guess the only way we'll be able to experience how bright it is is out in the uh, the yard, because I'm definitely not going to go diving with it. Shallow light. But it's pretty cool. I'm actually pretty impressed. I kind of just thought it would be a flashlight that says, for diving, but it's kind of cool looking. So... Uh, let's go out and try it out. So we're out in the darkness, but you're gonna have to imagine it's underwater because we have a diving flashlight. So let's go ahead and flip that switch to the side. Boom, turns on very quickly. Look at that. Uh, because of the light leakage, it kind of lights up the housing as well. But take a look at that, man. 
appears to light up the ground just fine kind of a nice focused beam on top of that right so you can kind of see out what you need to plenty of light on those trees to see everything even in the darkness here I can definitely kind of light up trees the ground and so you know without the the obstruction of water this certainly would work fine for being out in the wilderness and because it's you know presumably waterproof uh, <laughs> you don't have to worry about the rain affecting it but one thing I do really like about this LED element on it for whatever reason is that it gives a really kind of a white daylight like a bright white light uh, so <laughs> kind of it's kind of nice I mean it's really super crystal clear so if you need this flashlight you can certainly pick it up I'll put a link to it in the description but uh, I think this has kind of definitely impressed me quite a bit. I was pretty impressed with it. Like I said, pretty bright. Definitely seems like they've kind of thought the design through to make it waterproof. Uh, even the switch is pretty clever. So if you're going uh, 47 meters down with uh, Mandy Moore, you should definitely have one of these things before you get eaten by a great white shark. Um, all right. So I like it. It's pretty cool. You can pick it on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description where I found it. But... Uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. But, as I said, I think we'll give this sucker away. So I do want to do that, and I want to give it away to one of you. And so, uh, I'm, you know, not related to the giveaway, but please like the video, subscribe to my channel, comment if you want to. The way I'm going to give this bad boy away is I'm going to put a link in the description to the Facebook post about this flashlight. So I'm going to Facebook... Uh, post to this video on Facebook on the Peter Pan Panda page. So just follow the link in the description to the Facebook post and like it. Um, you have to live in the United States or Canada or have a mailing address there in order to be one of the winners or eligible to win because that's the only places I can afford to ship it to. But if you do, I will pick one random like on the Facebook post on July 22nd and reach out to you and verify that you live in the U.S. or Canada. And if you do, we'll, we'll ship this out to you so that when you go diving, you know what? It's probably going to just be in your pool or your bathtub. But when you go diving, you can take this along with you to make sure that the coast is all clear from, from sharks, uh, underwater sea monsters, and, uh, you know, clownfish. There it is. Professional diving flashlight. Peter Von Panda. Out.